So you have some new Whitewood support you're going to want to check out. It's a quick play spell card, so make sure you watch the video. Hey everyone, this is Max of Maxi TCG. Thanks for joining me in another video. Since we are going over a Yu-Gi-Oh! organization article for Whitewood support, quick play spell card, and we'll jump into the video and see if it's any good. It's going to be from Rage of the Abyss. We have Fall into Temptation with the Fiend of the White Woods. So you have the Fiend of the White Woods quick play spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. 1. Tribute one synchro monster, then target one face-up card on the field, negate its effect. Till the end of this turn, then you can tribute a White Woods synchro monster at activation. You can special summon one illusion monster from your graveyard. 2. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, you can set this card. Hey everyone, this is Editing Max. If you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up button, give the video a like, and leave a comment if you have any discussions you want to start, and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of this type of content. Everyone, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy, and we'll get back into it. Right, so when thinking about this card, I think initially on paper, it may sound a little better than it is, and we have to consider maybe why. So a lot of times, quick play spells that let you tribute a monster from field or destroy it or do something can be really nice for avoiding targeting protection, either playing into your opponent's board or going first when dodging hand traps. So that can be good. But I think the issue is you have to tribute a synchro monster. So that means you have to assume you already got off the ground. So maybe in like a runic deck or a deck that's making it easier to get multiple bodies on field to get to the synchro summon, you know, versus maybe relying on you know, having a starter that gets to the extender uh, to be able to play. In those situations, if you get hand trapped, this card doesn't really do anything in terms of its first effect. Where if you are playing maybe a runic version where you have a lot of easier chance of, you know, they stop your first card, you still get the extra runic body, you can synchro, you know, they try to stop your synchro, then you could tribute. You know, there's potential, I think, for that to be good uh, to help in those situations potentially. So I think that's something to consider what type of deck you're playing uh, for if this first effect is good. And then if you tribute a Whitewood Synchro to activate this fat teens for some illusion monster from your graveyard. Now the only illusion I think the Whitewoods are really playing is the Synchro. So that would be tributing the Synchro illusion and then being able to bring the illusion back uh, to negate a face-up card on the field. Now the nice thing with that is you could potentially negate the card, bring back the illusion, then use the illusion's effect. Uh, after that, you don't have to like burn the illusion first before using this card. Uh, so that's kind of a nice synergy I think that has. And then unless you're playing other illusions with the deck, you know, then you don't, you know, get that bonus uh, when tributing a Whitewood Synchro, if it's a regular Synchro. Uh, and then you also then have the secondary kind of bonus effect that if it's sent to the grave to activate a monster effect, you can set it. You can't activate it after you set it, you gotta wait uh, to use it. Now, and I think that has some nice aspects to it because the deck is sending spells and traps to the grave, so you want those bonuses. And you're gonna want a card to be able to play uh, that you can set back and get multiple uses out of potentially. So I think that could be the good thing about this. Now, you know, is this card really good? Is it a one of? I'm kind of feeling more of a one of. You know, I think this card can be good. And, and maybe again in a root deck, maybe you play more just because it's potentially more live with two card combos. But I, I feel like maybe it's more of a one of that you search to set on your end board, maybe send, set it, have it set up with your synchro line. Uh, when going first for another you know another play but that's kind of how it's feeling to me now if this was worded differently if it was tribute a white woods monster to negate a card on the field that's even better you really couldn't i guess use this going first unless you're negating your own card but you know that would make it a lot better and then if it's a synchro monster then you can bring back the illusion even if it's a white wood synchro bring back the illusion i think that'd be better if that's how it's worded if it didn't require the synchro right away um, but it's not the case you know, so we just kind of use it how it is. So I think it's kind of a mid card. Okay, you know, good to have another White Woods that you can send to get back onto the field to kind of keep your resource game going. Uh, so that's good. Uh, but overall, I don't think this is the most amazing card. And I think it maybe seems a little bit better when you first initially read it. But then when you think through it because of that synchro requirement, if you can't get off to the ground, you know, this card doesn't really do anything outside of being a discard that you can set. And then if without the synchro, you can't even use the negation effect. So I think that's really the issue with this. Hey everyone, this is Editing Max. If you're enjoying the content and you want to support the channel, you can check out the TCG affiliate link in the description below. It supports the channel and costs you nothing, and you'll just be doing the same thing you normally do when you buy cards from TCG Player. If you're new to buying cards from TCG Player, check out my website. I have a section on it that helps out new people, kind of explaining some of the aspects of TCG Player so that way you can get the most out of your money and you don't fall into some of these weird things that some people do to push up the price of cards. 
If you want to become a patron on the channel, check out my Patreon. It's another way you can help support the channel. We have different perks you can check out, like a lot of archetype proxies you see on the screen. Every week, I put a new one out that everyone on the channel can vote on on YouTube, and then these go to Patreon for you to print out. You can also join for early access. Some videos would be one day early access, others that are in a longer series could be weeks out in advance, and you can get the entire thing at once while everyone on YouTube has to wait week by week for all the videos to come out. You can also join for an exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! reaction series where I watch through the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, we have discussions in the comments, and watch through it together as well. Plus, there are other perks coming out in the future. Everyone, thanks again for watching the content. Hey everyone, that is it for kind of going over this new White Woods card. I am curious to see what you guys think. Do you think that, you know, this actually is pretty good, even though you have to tribute the Synchro Monster? Do you think it's mid like kind of what I'm thinking? Like, not bad by any means, but I don't know if it'd really be a multiples that you'd play. You know, and do you think it really helps just having that extra kind of white woods copy to be able to send for the deck? Because uh, I do think that is important for kind of keeping that resource game going with this kind of mid, mid rangey kind of grindy deck. And let me know if you think there's other variants where maybe this is better in than others. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. I know there's Toy White Woods, Centurion White Woods, Runic, but there's something else or some interesting interactions with those specifically. Let me know in the comments. I was like hearing what you guys have to say. Hey everyone, that's it for me on this video and I will see you in the next one.